Hi, I'm Matt Maloney with Teton Toyota. You know, a lot of people are always wondering whether they should lease or purchase a vehicle. I'm a senior sales representative here. I've been here quite some time. And there's a lot of benefits to leasing, uh, but it's not something for everybody. I'm gonna talk to you a little about leasing and then I'm gonna have some of my guys talk to you about leasing. And in the final analysis, the really the real benefits to, of leasing are, one, you sidestep the maintenance cost, two, you eliminate the risk, and three, you get a new car every two to three years. So I recently had a customer that uh, shared with me a concern about leasing as I was explaining the benefits to them. They were a little bit concerned about the uh, mileage limits on the lease. They, they do about 15 to 20,000 miles a year. They've got family in Denver that they visit regularly and they uh, commute back and forth between here and the site. Uh, so I was able to explain to them that the lease can be set up um, with different mileage at the, at the front end. So if they wanted to set it up at 20,000 miles a year at the front end of the lease, they would, they're, we're more than happy to work with them to do that. And that's one of the benefits. They were concerned that they were thinking that if they owned the vehicle, if they were purchasing it, on a conventional loan that they can put as many miles on it as they wanted to and not have to worry about it. And I was able to explain to them that with the lease that they have the same option. One of the common concerns that we have with leasing of vehicles here at Teton Toyota is the ability to actually customize your vehicle and make it your own. You have the same freedom to do that as if you were to purchase the vehicle outright and it only builds value for you and gives you more options at the end of the lease, creating equity on that vehicle for you. So at the end of the lease, there's a couple of different options. Uh, one of the best options is you can trade it in on a new lease. You can treat it just like you would as if you were trading in another purchase. It gives you the ability to get into it with equity and without doing it from a negative position. In addition to that option with trading in on a new lease, if you're absolutely in love with the car, you can go ahead and purchase that vehicle and get near the same payment that you actually had on your lease. Leasing is a great way to provide you with additional options that you wouldn't have over an outright purchase at the end of your car buying experience. I need to talk to you about the benefits of a lease and a purchase. A lot of people think that with a lease, you don't own the car, but the alternative to that is, is purchasing the car and unless you have twenty to forty fifty thousand dollars of discretionary income to just buy the car and walk out with the title most people don't do that they finance their vehicle is is you really don't own it anyway the bank does so you're on an equal playing field but at least you're going to sidestep the maintenance and repair costs and toyota does a close in the lease and what that means is toyota gives you a guaranteed future value they're the ones backing that deal and you're going to have some extra options with that guaranteed future value. So when you come back in three years, as Brian talked about, you're going to have the ability to trade in that car. If, if, you, uh, if the value of the car is worth more than that guaranteed future value, you're going to have some equity that you can put towards your new vehicle. But if it's worth less than that guaranteed future value, you actually have the ability to turn the keys over to the dealership and Toyota takes the car back and you won't be in a negative situation for your next car. And then you have the option to purchase it as well. You know, one of the great things about leasing and one of the myths about leasing is people that put, uh, say they need to put several thousand dollars down on a lease to get that payment where it is where you see on commercials. Well, that's not necessarily true. Generally on a lease, all you technically need is the first payment down and you can get into a lease. So your, your first payment is due at the signing of whatever that lease payment is. And then at the end, you have a guaranteed future value, which the money down doesn't change that guaranteed future value. It stays the same. So Toyota is by far one of the best companies and has the best leasing program of any company that's out there right now. You know, when a lot of people come back to uh, get a new vehicle here, I find that Quite a few of them are out of position in their vehicles. Uh, what they've done is they haven't put a ton of money down on a vehicle and they financed it for 72 months. With a lease, you're sidestepping that because a lease is paid out to the point where you're reducing your principal every month evenly. If you were to finance a vehicle for 72 months, you're paying tax up front, you're paying all the interest up front. So the no notion that you're in a better position um, purchasing a vehicle isn't necessarily true. Most likely at the end of two to three years, you're probably in a better equity position in the vehicle with the lease than you are a purchase.